Now, since their qualification for back-to-back -back FIFA Women's World Cups, the reggae girls had two friendly internationals in Jamaica, but at no point was the feat acknowledged publicly. As we'll hear in this report, the girls have not yet been given a celebration or reception to commemorate the feat this time around. Jamaica qualifying for any FIFA World Cup is not something that happens on a regular basis. So just Jamaica imagine what it means for the reggae girls the doing World it Cup on back-to-back -back occasions. What's ironic is that uh, persons overseas, because I've met with a number of people in football globally, and they are so excited that Jamaica, little Jamaica with so little resource, could qualify consecutively. And we just take it for granted. But it is no ordinary feat, it's no ordinary achievement. And there are 211 countries that make up FIFA. 132, I think, have never qualified for a global tournament. So did the JFF miss the trick of doing something special for the girls, especially while they were on the island for two friendlies? This is an era that the government really has to step in and help. And um, we will have just two days ago, Dennis got in contact with Minister Grange, and we will have a meeting soon. As the girls await when they will be celebrated, JFF President Michael Ricketts is hoping to have them back in Jamaica for another friendly. We really would want to play our last game here and leave from here straight down to Australia. But that is in its very embryonic stage. But that's what we'd really want to do. And if, if we can manage to do that, then we'd use that as an opp opportunity to say thanks to the girls and then to give them that kind of a, a fillip as we go down to, to Australia. Not just to compete, but to be competitive. The World Cup will take place in New Zealand and Australia from July 20 to August 20 in 2023. And Ricketts is making a plea to the government for support. We really want to reach out to the government. We really need some support um, for our girls who have really made us proud. And certainly we want to give them an opportunity to be competitive. And that costs a lot of money. Jamaica will play in Group F alongside France, Brazil and a team from the qualifiers to be decided. Christopher Scott, TVJ Sports.